Good morning guys, welcome to or back to my channel. So today is going to be a reset with me because the past two weeks, let me tell you, they have been like all over the place and I feel like I was just hit with a lot of emotions that I was not expecting. I'm honestly really considering doing just a dedicated video to mental health and talking about my experiences with anxiety, kind of like how I have started to better understand my anxiety, but also just like talking about what I'm going through right now with like my mindset and thoughts surrounding like the season of life that I'm in. Obviously I just turned 19 so that kind of brought over a wave of emotions that I again was not expecting. So I feel like the past two weeks I've really just been trying to process those emotions. I never try to like speed up the process of processing my emotions. I always like to try to sit in it so then I can process it thoroughly and not just like neglect to address it because obviously you need to like give yourself time to feel your emotions and what you're going through but I feel like now that I'm kind of on the other side of all of these emotions I kind of just want to have a good reset and to me that means all the things that I'm going to be showing in this video so reset activity number one is going to be some movement I did a two and a half hour contortion class yesterday and long story short it ended up being like basically a private so it was a lot of just like one-on-one -on -one training which is amazing and I love it when that happens but it's also like so physically draining. I just, I want to get the soreness out of my body. When I tell you guys that this is a full circle moment, believe it. <laughs> So that is why I'm so excited to introduce the sponsor of this week's video, Ana Luisa. So I first heard about Ana Luisa through some of the other content creators that I follow and it really just opened my eyes to the concept of ethics and sustainability in the jewelry industry. And truly believe me when I say that even if I was not sponsored by Ana Luisa, I 100% would be getting every single piece of jewelry I own from them simply for these reasons. And that's not even to mention the fact that their styles and quality of their pieces is just incredible. All of their jewelry is made with clean, low impact materials and or recycled materials. Everything is very ethically sourced and they really just overall take into account the entire life cycle of their jewelry and they have gone the extra mile to make everything as sustainable and ethical as possible, which I just think is amazing. And I feel like this just really goes to show how much Ana Luisa truly does care about the environment and everything that goes into their pieces. So you really just can't get better than that like you can't top that. <laughs> Everything on Ana Luisa's website is seriously just so classy and elegant and it'll literally go with everything. I feel like their jewelry would make such a perfect gift for someone and you know that time of the year is coming up. So I absolutely recommend checking out Ana Luisa. I will have a link in my description that will take you directly to their website and it also does let Ana Luisa know that you came from my channel. And they're actually running the biggest sale of the year which is 20% off the entire website Site, so I am positive that you were gonna find it so many pieces that you love at a price that you love So now is definitely the time to pick something up for either yourself or a loved one a friend anyone that you might be needing a gift for So with that said, let's get back into the reset activities This 
This shot right now is like kind of making me like think about short hair. Probably not a good idea. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda today is manifestation journaling, which is one of my favorite law of attraction practices. I always feel like, especially if I was just in like a slump um, where I was just overall probably lacking clarity, which is part of the reason why I was likely feeling unmotivated. I feel like manifestation journaling is just amazing at reframing my mindset and getting me back into a flow of focusing on the bigger picture and not getting like hung up on all of the little just like day-to-day -day inconveniences and anything that's just like swaying me off of the path that I want to be on. So I always break this down into the categories of life. So I do career, relationships, family, environment, financial, spiritual, social. Those are kind of the main categories that I try to touch on in this journal entry because I feel like it makes me think in a more well-rounded way and I'm not just focusing on one aspect of life because of course if I were to just journal like freely I would probably end up just writing about career financial and uh, like relationships that's probably the three things that I would write about the most and then I would just not write about any of the other topics so I'm going to sit here with my journal no music just literally sitting here in silence and I'm going to get my thoughts out onto paper and my battery is going to die. So I'm going to change that too. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space Okay, my memory card is having some serious issues today, so I feel like I need to be a little bit more speedy with this explanation. So after I do a manifestation practice, I always like to do a brain dump just because what the manifestation practice did is help me gain clarity on the vision that I have for my future. It just like refreshes all of those ideas in my mind. So then with the brain dump, I'm taking those ideas and putting them into like concrete action steps and they're more focused on like a short-term basis. So it's very manageable. It's not going to overwhelm me. So yeah, that is what I've been doing and what I was doing with you until my memory card started to not function properly but i always like to break this list into two sections work and personal so work is obviously pretty self-explanatory it's all work related things that i want to get done and then the personal section is things that i like need to do that aren't work focused aka like chores and things that i need to do but also it's the things that are simply just good for my soul lately i've been really drawn to just like mindless arts and crafts like painting embroidery macrameing things like that that are literally just for fun and i feel like they help me just get out of my head and off my phone and that's always a good thing I I feel like honestly it's helped my creative process as well just because I've been creating more frequently. Okay, so in about 20 minutes, I have a call with my retreat fam. It's not like the full group of us, but 
I think there's probably gonna be about like three or four people. There's a hair on my face. <laughs> Connection with friends is a crucial thing to me feeling revitalized and refreshed and reset <laughs> because especially within the past year and a half i've just become so comfortable with being alone and i definitely have not prioritized spending time with my friends enough and honestly having conversations with friends just talking through things it helps you process things so much better and just like having that connection it's so crucial to our well-being honestly so i'm really excited to catch up with them um i'm basically just gonna hang out for a bit on my own until the call starts and yeah i'll see if i can introduce you to a few of my friends i feel like i haven't shown my friends at all on this channel like there's been a few times but um i swear i do have friends they're just some of them are in a different country so it gets a little bit difficult <laughs> to make plans So I just got off the call with my friends and it was exactly what I needed. I had some great conversation. I feel so much more connected to my friends again and it was exactly what I needed to be honest. I just feel so much better now and overall I've had such an amazing reset day. I really hope that this encourages you to also take a reset day if you have been needing one. I also want to remind you one more time to check out Ana Luisa. I have the link in the description so especially right now while they have their 20% off sale running it is an incredible time to pick up some pieces for yourself and also one last time thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video it has been an absolute dream working with you and I really hope that I get to work with you in the future as well so with that said I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe and take the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video here's my Instagram if you would like to see more content from me and until next time I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!